fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame, others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Well, you gotta feel good for this guy, finally getting an opportunity to compete for the UFC middleweight championship. He has worked so hard, he has dealt with injuries, he has put it all on the line, and tonight, with his winning streak in tow, with the dues paid, with so many contenders in the rearview mirror, this man will compete for the UFC middleweight title. Be interesting, though, Joe, to see how his particular style matches up with the champion tonight. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. And now our tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Bisping is 16 years the elder. The rest of the numbers are effectively identical. Here is Bruce Buffy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record on 18 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Vienna, Austria, presenting the challenger, the executioner. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Michael the Cap is
All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready to fight? Ready. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. All right, Joe Rogan, here we go with round one of this UFC middleweight championship fight for the number one contender. This is his first championship opportunity, and he said he is going to make sure to capitalize on early round one. We'll see if he can get off to a good start. Oh! Oh, he connected with that right now. All right, so here we go with round one, and you got to be mindful of those overhand punches if you're his opponent. You know it's a big part of his game plan every time out. It's his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it here tonight. There's a right hand at the top by Bisping. Good job landing the series of strikes here. Inside leg kick is there by Bisping. Wow! He is in trouble. The champ is in deep danger here. He's really hurt, and he is going to lose his title Whoa! if he can't recover. High kick! He hurt him! And there he swung with a haymaker. Here's the kick blocked by Bisping. Oh, and he eats a shot. Trying to kick the leg out. Starts to get the combination going with the fists. He the landed a huge there, uppercut. Whoa! This could be oh, it. Oh, he might be out. Big shot from the clinch. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Whoa! Whoa! He's out. He's out. He's in. Tremendous hook on the button for the win. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. And here we see the stunning knockout that crowned a new champion. Right when it lands, the legs give out, he goes limp, and we have a new king. Watch this again here. Boom. And there is the UFC middleweight champion. Hard to be much more impressive than that on the biggest of stages. A knockout win to lead as the middleweight king. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 36 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division. And it is going to take a big performance to defeat.